Hey there, everybody. It is Cook again with the next episode in our Gong Do series. Let's take a real quick look here at the strategic situation. Looks like we're getting a little bit thinned out, stretched out a little bit here. We've got uh, our lands to the north. We've just invaded the southern lands of Chengdu or also the Shu Commandary with Chengdu, um, the main city um, in the southwest of China. We are attracting the attention of all the surrounding warlords, and it's not good attention either. It is very negative. We were able to push peace out with Liu Zhang, Chang, and Wu Tu Gu has declared on us and is currently approaching Chengdu, which we had recently conquered. It is the summer of 197 AD. Our con although we have expanded greatly, our economy is yet uh, not yet uh, sophisticated. We are yellow turban re uh, re rebels that are yet to be um, respected or legitimized. And what would, if we can get to the healed rank here, we may earn some more respect from the other factions. But until then, it's going to be hard to get any kind of diplomatic respect, trade deals from other factions that might help the economy and our progress through the tech tree and building tech tree will be a struggle. On the plus side, our public support is very good. Our population is growing, which will help with taxes and eventually our economy. But until the time being, we have to be very choosy and picky about what we build and what we recruit. Well, without further ado, let's get the campaign um, going. Again, strategic situation, here are our lands. Don't be confused by Liu Chang. They really should change the colors up a little bit here better. It is very confusing. We look just like the same color as Liu Chang, but we are highlighted here in the neon green. Now we want to take a look here. We are Keeping our distance here, it looks like the balance of power, according to the AI, is heavily in favor with Wutu Gu. According to their, they may have better troops. The mightiest trees Maybe worth, uh, unfortunately we have no money, so I was thinking about possibly trying to change out some of the retinues but that's not possible right now we are currently in a uh, liberate stance uh, unfortunately we've used up all our army action points what may end up happening is Wu Tugu on the next turn attacks us if not we'll we'll, sh we'll strike straight at Zi Chong let's take a look at the north here We have uh, our secondary army under the command of Chang Kun and also recently recruited Ba Duan. And we will march north to meet the threat of Liu Biao. We have to advance to the next turn before we can actually move our armies. Liu Biao has decided to take back the lumber yard that we had taken from the Han Empire. Uh, Numbers-wise, we actually have a slight bit of advantage. They have their three heroes, though, versus a military captain. We have some cavalry, peasant spearmen, and peasant archers. We're going to delegate it out and not waste our time like that. We could have tried to start the battle and 
play it out and see if I couldn't inflict more casualties. That may have been a better strategy. But I want to focus um, our concentration on other things. It looks like Wu Tu Gu has elected to siege down Chengdu. There's a faction succession Liu Chong, Bei, Shang Feng will be the new leader. We have proactive planning researched. Rolling Boulder, should we do it? It would diminish our reserve capacity. But we're actually going to ignore it. We are going to look at our reforms. So we did uh, pardon the old regime and supporters. Really needed something to generate our economy maybe a little bit more. Um, anything that will pro provide enlightenment too would be good. They all, all the reforms do provide a plus 15 enlightenment. Reinstate City Watch. This gives us access to two new units. Watchmen of the Peace. Which almost look like Pavis Crossbowmen. Fervent Defenders. Medium Halberd Infantry. Nothing that outright gives you any kind of bonuses to income so it's all through the buildings so why don't we or here's this plus 10 percent post battle loot income maybe we should do confiscate belongings let's research that again according to the why don't we sack the salt mine We'll delegate the battle out. And From the roots to heaven. We only lost 175, so that wasn't too bad. Now, if we sack and withdraw... Hmm. I'm tempted to gain the income. Let's, we're going to try this. There is little left for us here except... The people's voice cannot be silenced. So that 233.9 can give us an opportunity to build some more settlements. And we are going to want to march towards Liu Biao. Actually, let's us get into marching stance and try to get there quickly. Let's see if there's any worthwhile buildings to build. We could look at Han Chang or Han, Han Chong. Grain storage plus 60 to income. Farming, manufacturing. The only real building we can build it looks like is grain storage. Let's quickly look at some of these other Garrison are definitely looking for more mil uh, more income-based buildings. Communal irrigated farms, and this is in Wudu. My concern about building in Wudu right now, it's very remote and surrounded by enemy territory. And I feel like I will could not get there in time to save it if... Um, these other factions so chose to attack it. It sits here right on the border and is feel very vulnerable to an attack. So I'm going to opt for the grain storage facility for now. 
thrust with conviction and strike true. And we are going to advance in the next turn. So Wutugu is elected to assault the the city of Chengdu. The Yellow Turban faction has been destroyed. Attack! So we're going to lay siege to it again, or maybe even get Wu Tugu to to attack us, and we can fight a defensive battle. Draw inwards and strike out, moving as one. We'll keep moving. Chang Kun to retake at least the lumberyard or fight off Liu Biao. Uh, Wu Tu Gu is now interested in peace, but I would like to take back Cheng Du. Ah, Liu Chang has decided to declare war. So according to this, we have inferior forces. Uh, numbers are even. We're going to start. Uh, we are going to fight a defensive battle here, at least. Everybody, here is the battle setup. I was already kind of playing around with some of the setup. Right now, we have a contingent under Gongdu himself hiding in the woods. We're going to set up a defensive line here off this on this little incline, this little uh, hill here. We'll, we'll throw our spears up here. And keep uh, Chang Kai in control. And the we can keep these uh, spear captain troops in reserve there. Make sure the spear captain maybe can go on the flank. Group the archers. We'll have the hellbird. Infantry. Staggered there too. And these peasant warriors in reserve. So kind of a tight formation. They're hidden in the woods and are not spotted. The only thing that might screw up the plan is if the enemy tries to outflank over here and runs into Gong too. So we'll wait for the AI to decide to come out and and show himself, and they do do it quicker than they have um, some in some battles. They take forever to gather up and attack you. Now I don't know if these men are that much greater quality than what I have. I guess they have some heavy spear shields of the south. Wu Guo axe throwers. And Wu Tu Gu might be um, a bit. Now they're weakened though at least so that's our advantage there. Chang Kai and Gong Du are in rel relatively good health. Uh, what I don't see, though, is they have no missile troops. 
Unless you, oh, they have these slingers, so they do have missiles. Um, but of the slinger variety. And we'll open up with our cavalry archers. Try to weaken these spears. I might have pushed my, I think I put a set gong do too far back into the woods. Uh, our spears do not know any advanced formation, so no shield wall, no. We'll use this halberd infantry to hit these spearmen before they get in contact with our with our uh, archers here. Plus ten morale. Chang Kai is giving these guys, so that's good. I wait until these guys are engaged, and then we can unleash. Unleash uh, Gong Du. Think it's time. Think it's time. Let's uh let's start sending Gong Du. Alright, looks like we are inflicting more casualties than th we are receiving, so that's a good sign. I don't know if I should use these archers cavalry to maybe Oh, I, they're weakening the slinger, so that's good. Stop wasting my time. Our men are spotted. Of course, we came out of the woods. Now it would be it would have been nice. Uh, I chose these light spare peasant spearmen to be in the woods because they can maybe come out of the woods quicker. Actually, let's charge these axemen. And then Gongdu just leaps right in there. Alright, get out of there. And then we are going to send these spear light spearmen straight into their flank. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna have Zhang Kai go straight for Wu Tu Gu. I should probably have 
Gong Du also joined in that fight. Easy peasy. So the both flanks, both of their flanks are starting to collapse. I want these cavalry archers in the rear. The enemy general has fallen. They were no match. So Wutuku is now in a rage, in a berserker rage. And their lines are starting to collapse. I want these, I'm gonna send these, uh, this group of uh, archer cavalry, um, they're drawing their swords. Same thing with these guys. Let's draw your swords. I don't need to I don't need to fight them directly. Are they at full health? Somehow Wutugu's at full full health now. I'm using these uh, archer cavalry to. Oh, my wait, my halberd guardians of the land are wavering. They are kind of outnumbered there. Not cool. Let's see if I can get these um, peasant warriors over here. Maybe they can help. The enemy warriors are running. Oh, Zane, Chang Kai has been defeated. Oh, no. Wow, that's surprising. I hope he's not completely... Uh, he's really dead. So, Gong... Gong 2 is in Berserker Rage. I thought... Oh, man. I hope Chang Kai is still alive. I can't even control Gong Du right now. All right. Well, we got the victory. I hope. Hopefully, Chiang Kai is just um, severely wounded and not actually dead. Heroic victory. So hopefully, we get a lot of um, loot from that battle win, and to help our. From the roots to heaven. Eleven hundred in gold, not too bad. Yeah, let's and we'll execute him for the clay dog. I don't know why the game is going a little glitchy there. Oh, looks like Chen Kai is still alive. Yeah, we can ransom for 956 or replenish our own forces. Liu Chang declared war on us. Battlefield Surgeon, your general refuses to celebrate a victory in battle while allies still lie wounded on the battlefield. Injured troops three at a time are personally rescued and carried... Oh, well, well I thought he was dead. He was um, 
busy saving all kinds of soldiers. Our hero, Ching Kai. The mightiest tree survives on its roots. Our faith was rewarded. And we take back Chengdu and get a crap ton of money. Only by growth will the world. Um, we are going to make peace with Wutugu. That way I can just, I will just finish off Liu Chang. Not to mention, I would not be surprised if Meng Huo decides to attack us. Oh, let's see. Unfortunately, I can't make him a vassal or anything like that. I can probably extract a lot of money, but I wonder how much is possible. Uh, five thousand, over five thousand gold. We can negotiate peace with. Deal signed. He's not too happy about that. We have ten k. So it would be. Um, I'd like to be making a little bit more. Can't. Makes no sense to upgrade my retinue if it's going to cost us more money per turn. What I can do is upgrade the crap out of our settlements. Let's use Hawaii Yuan to increase income. And we should try to build up Bakshi settlement. We'll upgrade the city there. Hang Chong. Actually, I bet you Chengdu has has um, damage buildings. It does not have damage buildings. Oh, I like Chengdu, but sometimes I feel it's too remote. We can also upgrade Hang Chong or Han Chong. It is Han Chong. Poised to strike. We're going to switch to the Liberate stance. Raid the roots. And we are going to just stay on our own territory. And again, Liberate stance. Where battle will bat battle initiated enabled campaign movement though is minus twenty percent campaign movement range required to adopt twenty five percent minus eighteen public order in the enemy commandary. Uh, we do suffer fatigue, so I should try to keep that in mind. Minus fifty percent food production from liberating forces in the enemy commandary. Li Yu Biao is contemplating peace. I should probably try to help him make his decision for him. Grain farms, we can upgrade our grain farms. Plus four food production. I would like something of a income source. Copper mine is too expensive, or we don't have the right. Let's do communal irrigated farms now. Alright, and it's time to move on to the next turn. Meng Huo declared war on Duo Si. Shamoke declared war on 
Shamoka declared war on Wu Tugu. There's this army under Liu Cheng, under Han Dan Chun. He looks ripe for the elimination. We're just going to delegate this one. Justice cannot be I actually probably should have played that one out. We'll release him for they the quick 200 bucks. Let's replenish our forces. Sprout ever upwards to heaven. Gather your strength. Marching. Moving out. Are we really not in our territory? Oh, we're on the march. Okay. Now, let's take a look at our General Cheng Kun. My lord, I answer your request. With purpose. And now we are in enemy territory. There is Liu Biao's army. And not to us. only about half strength. So let's see what happens on the next turn. He comes out to attack. It's supposed to be a close victory. So we outnumber them by a thousand. Let's uh, fight this battle out on the field. Venerable Huang Chong as his and our army ranks are all one except for I got these yellow turban archers with a rank three but they're very green we have a very green and rookie force where do we want to set up maybe here that way, if they come through here, we can inflict some um, missile damage. And our flanks are somewhat protected. Now let's do this. We'll keep the archers together. They come through here, come through here, we got Archer, we do need, I could take these Sky Heralds, put them here. Do this. They'll protect the flank here. Peasant spearmen, the altar. Well, I could use a little bit more spearmen, I suppose. This will be our center line. Put these guys together. We'll put our two heroes together. They almost look like twins. They don't have the best equipment. This will have to do. Speed things up. See where the enemy starts to roll out. Here we go. They do have 
cavalry, sword cavalry, crossbow. So they do have better quality troops, that is for sure. Infantry of Jing. Looks what looks like Huang Zong is a little bit hurt. Not a hundred percent. Passive buff, melee attack rate. Do you ever stop talking? So their archers are firing. We are taking uh, shots at their cavalry. They are going to try to outflank in the woods here. I'm wondering if I should just let the swordsmen just try to fight them off in the wooded terrain, which might be fine. These spearmen are taking lots of missile fire Our hidden men have been seen Our yellow turban spearman captain is wavering already So again, we have 17, almost 1,800 to their 800 men. AI does feel like I'm going to blow this battle. Our men have been discovered. Let's see if we can shore up these, uh, the, the captain, the captain of the spears. Oh wow, the yellow sky heralds are going berserk. Gotta love it. Let's take a look at that. Create in this, in this wooded terrain the Yellow Sky Heralds fanatical yellow turbans I can't even control them they're just going um, they're just gonna go do their own thing Let's see if we can help our uh, spear captain here. And the spear captain is starting to retreat. If we can get these swords, uh, yellow sky heralds and yellow turban warriors to break down on that flank. Lots of our troops are now running. I need this unit over here. We need to attack Lu Liu Biao. So lots of our troops are running away. 14, 1,500 to their 500. Now they are starting to rally, so that's good. We can target that. 
Huang Zong, Huang Chong is wreaking havoc on our lines right now. Let's see if we can take out Li, Liu Biao, and then we'll try to tag team Huang Chong. Lord, our troops are just running. I'm very surprised they tried to attack us being so outnumbered. There's the Sky Heralds! Oh, they're wavering though, but they just... I thought they were unbreakable. But they just came in right behind these infantry spear. Our men flee the battlefield. Where are you guys going? See if we can take out Huang Chong. Our men are running, the spineless cowards. Destroy them. Take heed, warriors. The time has come. We've lost six hundred men. Where are you? All right, now let's go back to Liu Biao. Huang Chong is running away. Uh, they don't have any swords, huh? That's weird. Where are those Sky Heralds? Are they like chasing after? All right, I got some of them right here. So Cheng Kun and Ba Duan are attacking Liu Biao, and he is wavering. I think if he runs, the rest of the army will run as well. The enemy general falls. Ha! That should set in motion the rest of the collapse of of their army. Now that I have uh, my troops starting to rally. They inflicted a lot of casualties. One step closer to victory! Definitely going to want to try to upgrade some of these units in this army for sure. Alright, the rest of their army is breaking and victory is declared. For 871 left, so we lost um, about a thousand men. So we have another victory against the all the enemies surrounding us Celebration is due. let the wine flow Kuai Yu has been captured I would rather die 
I would rather die. I'll release you it just to get the money. To punish them further. We have need of courageous warriors. So let's you immediately attack. So we'll go in, we're actually going to go in a normal stance here. We should be able to finish off Liu Biao's army. Yay! Yes, yay! It is ours by right. All right, excellent. Confiscate belongings. Reform is research. How close am I to healed? 172. Eight points away. Eight enlightenment po points to the next rank. Let's see if Liu Biao will peace out. No. What? Wow, you are brazen. Can't really upgrade to much, can I? What did I do? I mean, the yellow sky heralds, maybe. Guess I can recruit. Ambush, we can f encamp or liberate. We're actually going to go normal. Yeah, we're going to try to increase our troops first before we go on to Luo Shang. And let's upgrade some buildings to I should have these guys on assignment. Actually, none of these guys. I guess we can. See, are there any characters available? We do have candidates available. Well, this should wrap up the episode. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the series so far, please like and subscribe. Um, I plan on doing a legendary Lu Bu campaign, so check out the channel. I appreciate your time. Until the next one. Yao Feng. I'm going to recruit him.